I have been teaching on the subject, what will happen to the nation of Israel? Will they survive? Will they remain in their land that God has given them? We know that in 1948, Israel became a nation. And in 1967, Jerusalem became a part of that nation again, thus fulfilling the prophecies of the Bible. Will they remain there to the time of the end? Yes, according to the Bible, they, they will remain, though they will uh, experience terrible persecution and suffering. The Bible has a, a blueprint written out, and this is written out for the believer to read and to study so that we can know the signs of the times, what will happen. The Lord God had talked to his disciples and told them, these things will come to pass. And he said to his disciples, when these things begin to come to pass, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. So this indicates that the Lord is giving the believer a blueprint. He is showing him a timetable so that we can get ready for his appearing so that we can preach this gospel to the lost. And when we study the word of God and we watch the world news, we can see that those times are being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. The other day I read on the internet that BBC News, one of the biggest news reporting stations in Britain, has been banned from Israel because they were against the Israeli people. They were telling things that were not true. Thus, they were banned from there. And this is a sign that the end in the end times that people will turn against that little nation of Israel. And I, begin, I believe a lot of it is done by the news media. They're turning the hearts against God's people. They're turning the hearts of people against that nation because on Satan's agenda he has one thing in mind and that's to try to overturn the plan that God has set for that nation. Today I want to speak on this subject. What will happen? The Antichrist will come upon the scene. How will he operate? And, but before we get into this message, I will ask the Lord to bless us. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will allow your Holy Spirit to minister to people today so that they will be able to understand and study and read the signs of the times. For far too many of your children are ignorant and sometimes willingly ignorant because they do not read your word. I thank you, O oh God, that you have preserved your word for us, that we may study and know about your soon return. I thank you for your grace. I ask you to bless us today. In Jesus' name, Amen. When we talk to different people, we understand and see right away what news cast they are listening to. They seem to be kept in the dark. When you see what happen, what is happening on the world scene, how world events are taking place, the children of God are so naive. They don't seem to see the deception that the news media is bringing across the airwaves. They seem to just go for what is being broadcasted, hook, line, and sinker, and they seem to say, this is what is happening. But when you really study what is happening, when you listen to Christian news reporter, there is a far different scene taking place. We can see that people are turning against 
Christianity and we can see that the leading force of people are anti-Semitists. They are turning against the Jewish nation, thus indicating that the devil is getting ready for the end time. He says he knows that his time is short and he will go about like a roaring lion devouring everybody he can. I want to read to you out of Daniel chapter 8 verse 23. It tells us a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up and his power shall be mighty but not by his own power thus indicating he will get his power from Satan and he shall destroy and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper and in, in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. And this is what the world is looking for today. Peace. This is what they're screaming. Give us peace and safety. They do not want to face the reality of what is happening just so long as we have peace. Just so long as we can continue our life. They don't see the floodgates are about to burst open and the tide of evil will envelop this planet. And here is the prediction. The Lord God said that mighty Antichrist with a, a, a king of fierce countenance will come upon the scene and he through deception will cause many to be deceived. I want to warn the Christian today, you better find where you stand with God so that you will not be deceived into thinking that everything is all right. And in, in Daniel chapter 9 verse 27, it tells us that he will confirm a covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. So we already know that the Antichrist will make a peace pact with the children of Israel for seven years. This is the one week which is mentioned in Daniel. One, me one week means seven years. But in the middle of the week, in the, in the, after three and a half years, he will declare himself to be God and thus Israel will recognize that they have been deceived. And then in Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 it tells us, And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to this time. We know here what it is telling us. The world has seen terrible wars. But it tells us that this terrible persecution and trouble which shall come upon the face of the earth has never been since there was a nation. So dear Christian friend, you better beware that you may be found worthy and the Lord will touch you and open your eyes to those truths. Because we can find in the Bible in a lot of places if a man is willfully going to be sleeping, he will be deceived. We can see that God sends strong delusions for those who believe in lies. And a lot of Christians are caught up in that. They cannot seem to understand the truth. They do not study the Bible and they do not examine the things. They take whatever they hear and that's it. I want you to study the Word of God and to look at what is happening on the news and you will find out that we are now in the time when Jesus will come back. In Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 it tells us, And then there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, 
nor ever shall be, and except these days should be shortened, and there, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, these days shall be shortened. Where do we stand with this? Are we ready to see Jesus? Are we waiting for Him? What is our lifestyle today? Are we looking forward to the coming back of the Lord Jesus Christ? For the tribulation is about to begin. There is no prophecy left to be fulfilled except the coming of the Antichrist. And before the Antichrist will come, the Lord will come to take His children, the salt of the earth. He will remove it so that the Antichrist can appear. We know that in, that in, in Thessalonians it very clearly tells us that the one who is holding back the Antichrist will hold him back till he is taken out of the way. And who is he? It is the church of Jesus Christ, the salt that is keeping back the deterioration of this planet. And once the salt will be removed, then the Antichrist will be revealed. And then that horrible deterioration, that persecution, and all these wars will come to a head because the time will be fulfilled. Dear precious friend today, if you know Jesus, get to know Him in a personal way. Don't just have a mediocre existence with God. Make sure that you have a relationship that you, when He comes back, will be ready for Him. For the Bible teaches that He that look for my appearing, to them I will return the second time without sin unto salvation. Will you be one of them? The Bible teaches in Luke chapter 21, verse 36, Watch you therefore and pray always that you are accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Jesus has a very sharp eye. He knows His children. Do not be a counterfeit. You're going to be the one that will lose in the end. And for those of you who have never accepted Jesus, who have been waiting and putting it off. Come to Jesus today. Tomorrow will be too late. For tomorrow, the church, or even today, the church of Jesus Christ will, could be evacuated in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. We will be changed, and then the Lord God will take us out of here. Dear precious sinner friend, if you do not know Jesus, turn to Him today. You do not want to go through that terrible time of persecution which the Bible tells us there never has been such a th time and never will be after that. Turn to Him by faith today so that you can spend your eternity with Him in heaven. Come to Jesus. He is warning us through the Bible. The signs of the times are already showing that we have extended our stay here on earth. We are living on borrowed time. When we watch what is happening all over the planet, we know that God cannot allow this to continue. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And he destroyed the first world where it was, everything was drowned except for Noah and his family. And at Sodom and Gomorrah, the right, a lot who had, who had uh, lived with those people, the Bible tells us he vexed his soul daily. His, his soul was grieved by the things that were happening. But he could not resist them. He stayed with them. And the Lord came and took them out before he burned that city. So do you know Jesus today? Jesus is warning you. He wants you to escape that horrible time of tribulation. In, in Revelation 
chapter 3, verse 10, it tells us, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from the hour of temptation that shall come to try all them that dwell upon the earth. So give your heart to Jesus today so that you will escape that terrible persecution, that terrible suffering that is coming upon this planet. The Lord will open your heart and bless you with a knowledge if you will only turn to Him by faith. Until next time, the Lord bless you. Amen. When we study Luke chapter 17, the Lord Jesus Christ is talking to His disciples and He is talking to them about the end times. And He is telling them it is going to be like in the days of Noah and like in the days of Lot. We know that He took Noah out before the floods came. And we know that He took Lot out before the terrible Fire and brimstone came down from heaven and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. But there is a very interesting scripture in Luke chapter 17 verse 32. The Lord Jesus Christ is telling his disciples and he is telling this to us also. He is saying, remember Lot's wife. What does he mean by that? We know that Lot's wife walked out of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah with Lot. But she turned back and turned into a pillar of salt. But why did she turn back? Maybe it was because of her children. Because she must have heard the burning and the crackling of flames and wondered what happened to her children. Or maybe it was because of her material stuff that she had just left. In whatever case it was, she did not take the angel of the Lord seriously when he told them not to turn back. And this is what God is warning us today. Remember Lot's wife. He's telling us, take me serious. These things are going to come to pass. And when we look at the Christian world today, how they are caught up in materialism, we can see what is about to happen. For the spirit of the Antichrist is upon this world scene. And what is that spirit? It is deception and materialism. In Daniel chapter 8 verse 25 it tells us that he will cause craft to prosper and by peace he will deceive many. Materialism is the God of the Western world. And how many Christians are caught up in materialism? The Lord Jesus Christ said that we cannot worship God and mammon. And materialism is mammon. Where we can find security in the material things that we own. Jesus said that there is no way that we can worship both at the same time. We will either worship one or hate the other. So I'm asking you this question today. Do you re are you really serious with God? If there would come a point in your life where God would ask you to leave all your material stuff, I don't care what it is, would you be able to walk away without turning back like Lot did? Or would you be like Lot's wife? He is giving us a warning. Do not be attached to the things of this world that they will draw you away from God. Corrie Ten Boom, a woman who was held in the Nazi concentration camps during World War II, said that you, we should not hold on to things so tightly that we cannot let them go for the sake of the Lord. And this is my warning today. God is not mocked. He knows every person's heart. 
and He will try every person's heart. And if you are going to be found worshiping Mammon more than you are worshiping God, then that scripture will apply to you where it says, Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I want to be found worthy. I do not want to be attached to this world so that I will be left behind. The Lord God gives us warning after warning. He told us, remember Lot's wife. Where do we stand when it comes to that? The Lord will open your heart to this message and He will touch you so that you can get ready for the Lord's soon coming. Thank you. The Lord will richly bless you. Amen.